I grew up in the family with six boys and two girls. We lived in Richmond all our life. But my mom wrote us a letter. If you come to a disagreement, sell the house. We always obeyed her, so we sold the house. It was really, I was trying, I was letting them know we was going to end up in a place like this. In 2001, uh, my daughter passed away in the fire, and I have panic attacks and those sort of things. So that trauma brought me here. If I wasn't living here, I probably wouldn't be living, I don't know, probably in my car. My mom is uh, in a convalescent home on uh, Lincoln Avenue, that's in Richmond. I visit my mom from 11 to 12, 20, because I go there to take care of her, feed her. And about between 4 and 5 o'clock, I eat, I lay down, and get rest. If you don't pray in this building, you go, you would, stress will get to you. I manage my stress by preaching. We got to learn how to praise the Lord. It could be the best place, or it could be the worst place. I make it the best place because I don't have nowhere else to go.